Last week, CN Rail announced they would be laying off 1,400 employees due to financial restraints. But the Teamsters Canada Rail Conference, the union representing the employees, says not only is that not the case, they say CN Rail posted record profits in the last quarter and have increased their revenue by 11 percent. At 8 a.m. this morning in Fort St. John, Teamsters Rail Local 105 workers took to the picket line, joining over 3,000 other conductors and yard workers workers. We've had a lot of support from the community, from other local unions. They brought, uh, dropped off coffee and donuts from the, uh, the teachers union and the nurses union and uh, pipe fitters. It's been uh, very, very good support. The union says CN has been unwilling to address the health and safety issues that their workers face on a daily basis and that the work rest rules for railway employees hasn't been updated since 2002. Some of the practices that Teamsters demands would be eliminating are operating remotely controlled locomotives outside of the cab and hanging on to moving trains with one hand in all weather conditions up to 17 miles. However, they say these demands have fallen on deaf ears at the negotiating table. Depending on how long the strike lasts, many industries in the Peace region could be affected. CN Rail workers haul propane, lumber and rock for the Sightsee Dam, among other things. Anything you can think of that we can help to support the local economy, we're hauling it. Although strike action has begun, the two sides are still negotiating. But having been without a contract since July, they say they'll go as long as it takes. Lachlan Drash Bevan, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.